This data illustrates that Earth is truly a living planet. Powerful forces within Earth's interior are slowly reshaping our planet's solid surface, both on the continents and on the ocean floor. Earthquakes are one of the most direct expressions of these forces in action. Man, there's a lot of fog and smoke and haze and strange chemicals in the sky in California. My brain is not working correctly. You know, if you combine to that, that they're harping me, they're cerning me, and I can feel it like Mark Zuckerberg is mad at me, which is weird. I never even met the dude. So, uh, I may not be able to communicate too clearly tonight. But do not fear. I'm not driving, and I hope I don't have to run from a crop duster. Is that talking about? Oh, yeah. A huge earthquake is 99% likely to hit Los Angeles. Wait, what? When? Within the next two years. Scientists from NASA have said, that's weird. All right, this is a bit of a shocker. I didn't know NASA was in the earthquake game, asterisk. And so astronomers began to speculate. And this shit is verified. Thor News presents Stay Cool. This is space. There's space all over the place. This is a Thor News presentation. And this year has been one wild adventure. And it's like we got nihilists as our tour guides. We're still laying it down, showing you how it's done. So allow us to continue. NASA says massive earthquake is 99% likely to rock Los Angeles. Okay, let's go conspiracy theory on this one. If you flip that upside down, that's 666. Just point it out, man. Turning the world upside down, point it out. Percent. It's not like the word percent, which is one word, which means a percentage. This is percent, like per penny. That's weird. Do they have pennies in the United Kingdom? A huge earthquake is 99% likely to hit Los Angeles within the next two years. Scientists from NASA have said, Okay, I'm scared. The moment I'm in North California, if that earthquake is big enough, it rip California in half. It's weird. I didn't know NASA was into earthquake forecasting. This article is by Sean Martin. He wrote it on the 18th and updated it on the 19th. Scientists from NASA have said, and I'm like, wow, this is fascinating. Wonderful, fascinating. I got a lot of questions. I got a couple questions. Wait, I just forgot them all. Give me a second. I'm going to stare at this freaky ass cloud. Oh yeah. Eh? Oh hey look y'all. NASA has an earthquake division. And wouldn't it be cool if NASA got into weather forecasts? Like I could do a climate forecast in my sleep. A hundred years from now, climate will change. Man, that shit's easy. Doing weather on a day to day basis. That's much harder. I didn't know NASA predicted big storms or earthquakes. And hey guys, did y'all not watch Thor News? I don't want to see anybody look like a jackass. Especially when people represent their religion. Like, for example, Renee M., who predicted a comet would come in September of last year, and that would be like the rapture signal for God to take everybody up to heaven on the transporter. And it didn't happen. So it made, like all Christians, kind of look bad by being in the same club, even though they're like 33,000 subsects, different clubs and club jackets. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. So you guys represent the religion of NASA and JPL science. They invented dark matter and shit. Okay, so you guys are coming here, dating your stuff, going... Los Angeles has two years before a massive earthquake rocks you like the scorpions did back in the day. So that's kind of weird, right? That's kind of weird. That's not normal. I mean, who knows? Maybe in a week, I'll see Amy Mainzer on Jimmy Fallon's show going, you watch within 311 days an 80 meteor asteroid will strike Earth. You know, you'd be like, whoa. And so I'm like, whoa, I didn't even start reading the article, but I'm wondering, can I have a peek look at all the data that got you guys to this conclusion? That airplane looks wobbly. You can do it, little dude. Ease up on your joystick. Little drone. He's like a missile with wings. <laughs> They're so cute. Asterisk. All right, so we're talking, about, we're talking about earthquakes. And I got another question. It does not say the names of these scientists yet. By any chance, is either one of them named Lex Luther? Because he had some great California earthquake plan. Uh, the group's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, in Pasadena, California, have warned a series of mini tremors beneath the surface of the city of Los Angeles have caused pressures to build up. All right, is that talking about, oh yeah, NASA, the Jet Propulsion Lab, and earthquakes, plus Los Angeles and Hollywood. Whoa, it's like I just found myself in an action movie. Check it out. In an interstellar burst, we are back to save the universe. What's the talking about? Oh yeah, how do you define massive? Just off the top of my head, I would say, if it knocks you down, it's massive. <laughs> that definition may only work at parties. It might not even work there. The group's Jet Propulsion Lab in Pasadena have warned a series of mini tremors beneath the surface of the city of Angels 
have caused pressure to build up. Now, wait a second. Maybe I got my ups, down, and my downs up, but uh, I thought JPL ran NASA. No, is that wrong? And B, many tremors beneath the surface of the city angels have caused pressure to build up. I'll ask again. Was either one of those dudes or anyone with them named Lex Luthor? I didn't see a lot of big earthquakes around California. I see a bunch of tiny ones. It's almost like the West Coast the ocean is smart enough to take care of itself. Like, hey, dude, I let out my pressure on my own. Like little burps. And it seems to be working fine. And I would imagine that Google and YouTube and the Facebook and the Oracle and the Microsoft and the JPL and the Singularity University, that they would have all done some type of research on the geology and the sturdiness of the area they were seeing so much moolah into. I don't know, maybe some matrix. And this is just like Sim City. So who cares, right? I mean, Sim City earthquake telling you, man. In 2014, a 5.1 magnitude earthquake hit the town of La Habra in Southern California. And the experts from NASA say that there is still some leftover strain from that, which will almost definitely hit before April 2016. Wait, what the hell? Now I'm really confused. You know, most of the time it's A-OK -okay if you have a lot of a good strain left over. But that's like Colorado strains. Like, yes, this is California. So these are bad strains. And it's like the earthquake jiggles hide in the rock and the soil. And they're like, I'm going to throw a few more temper tantrums when I plead. But no, no. Just sit here and wait. Like a fist. Holding my strain. So, uh, what kind of suit was Lex wearing? It was like green. Just kind of ugly, but not too ugly. You know. Uh, JPL geophysicist Dr. Andrea Donelan said when the La Habra earthquake happened, it was relieving some of that stress. And it actually shook some of the upper sediments in the LA basin and move those a little bit more. That's enough energy stored to produce a magnitude 6.1 to 6.3 earthquake. Uh, do you got the calculations on how much tar or methane was shooken around in the sandbox? Wow, is it just me? This photograph is supposed to look like what it would look like if a huge earthquake hit Los Angeles. But all I see is like 12 monkeys and a sword. Like a madness. Why, well, it goes everywhere. There's no way I'm making it through this whole article. It's so long and sciencey. Dr. Donnellan and her colleagues reached the conclusion that an LA quake is almost inevitable after using radar and GPS to track all tremors in Los Angeles. That's what Lex Luthor said, eh? Did he by chance offer up some type of anti earthquake antidote? Or was it just like, the big earthquake's coming? That's all she wrote. Underground radar is the hit at all underground raves. Then. They measured the probability of an earthquake striking within the 60 mile radius of Los Angeles and reached the conclusion that an earthquake 5.0 or higher will strike the Southern Californian city. Yeah, like what, eventually or within two years? And also, you know, calling a five ain't that big a deal, you know? Like, oh no, they had a five. Five is just like a big old baby burp. Asteroid. All right, now in all fairness, Mr. Graves said the 99% number, I don't know the method that was used to derive that. But basically, that's saying it's going to happen. And that level of certainty, to my knowledge, is just not attainable. We can never be that certain. And then, his army of shadow people moved through the walls like ghosts. And I was like, oh no, here we go again. Do these science guys have names? Perhaps, by chance. Ergo, cinnamon sticks to nothing. The only thing that really scared me in Los Angeles was the traffic and the dating habits practice there. Anyway, Earthquake, LA, Los Angeles, Louisiana, Oive, Ikarama, WTF, a movie? If we got a bunch of supervillains, we gotta have a couple superheroes. One would think, but I don't know anything. I just sell cowboy hats out of an air balloon. So yeah, monitor your animals and look into them in some air away from the coast. Kick ass. Oh my God, worst Thor news video ever. Woohoo. All right, this is a bit of a shocker. Hey look, those two stars or planets are connected by wire and shoelace, or maybe just white clouds ladies and gentlemen the black widow gave me a forehead kiss which i'm pretty sure means next time we go to mcdonald's hamburgers are on me Ooh.